Hey everybody, it's Ivy and today we're going to be doing a hair tutorial and also a makeup tutorial. We're going to be doing like a, a little get ready with me, okay? Now, this hair that I have in, you guys, I absolutely love this hair and I love the color. I don't know if you guys can tell on camera, I hope you can, but my hair is like a midnight type of blue green color, you guys. I filmed an entire tutorial showing you how I made this wig, how I colored this wig, and my files got corrupted. I literally edited the videos last night, and I don't know, like, it was, it just, I don't know what happened to my files, but I couldn't get it off my memory card, and I couldn't find, like, they were all corrupted on the computer, so I don't know, I went and bought a new memory card those today and I'm refilming. So even though I don't have the footage to show you guys exactly how I got this color, it's honestly really simple. All you have to do is um, bleach your hair and you don't have to let it lift too, too light, but let it get to that kind of like that orangish type of color. And then I applied um, a color from Arctic Fox. It's called Blue Jean and I applied it on top of the bleached hair and this is the color result that I got. But again, since all those files was lost, today I just showed you um, how I installed the unit and you know, all that good stuff. And I did do my makeup today. Last time I was on live, you guys were asking me, do a tutorial on that look, do a tutorial. And I'm just like this. But this is just my neutral go-to type of makeup look. So if you're interested in seeing all of that, keep on watching. So all of my files erased. I actually did a video showing you guys how to get this beautiful hair color. It's like a um, really nice blue, black type of color. It's kind of like an aqua color. It's dark blue, but it also has like hints of green in it. You probably can't see it on camera. I showed you guys how to make this unit with either a five by five closure or a six by six closure. I used almost three bundles for this unit and this is Desore hair. This is their straight hair. I believe this might be their straight Peruvian hair. But yeah, you guys, I was up editing. I lost three videos. Um, I was up until like 4.30 editing and I probably shouldn't have been doing that. All I know is last night, Final Cut said my videos were rendered but they weren't. So I'm just gonna do a little hair tutorial and also a makeup routine. You guys are always asking for my like natural everyday makeup routine. I know I'm looking a mess right now. But yeah, let's go ahead and install this wig and then we're gonna get right to the makeup. Okay, you guys, so for my wigs, I like to use my wig grip. So the first thing I'm gonna do is uh, just go ahead and put my wig on my head. And this is what the inside of the unit looks like. It is that really nice large closure, which I like. Um, it gives you the look of a front so without so much work. And I did make this wig myself. Um, I will be I'll make another tutorial showing you guys exactly. Oh God, I just ripped my freaking closure. I am not having good luck lately. I don't know what's going on. I will do a video showing you guys um, how I make my units at a later time. And um, I did make this wig so you can wear it um, in a glueless way. But I think, I don't know why this, I guess my part is, not right okay i really like the closure from d sore hair the lace is like the perfect color and it just literally melts into my skin and um right here on the side i do have my natural baby hair out just because this is a um closure and it doesn't go from ear to ear now from here you can honestly just do the baby hairs and um leave your wig but i'm gonna go ahead and 
glue my unit down because I want my wig to stay on for a few days. And I'm gonna show you guys how I do that. So now I'm gonna take some 91% alcohol and I'm gonna put it on a towel and I'm just gonna clean around my hairline before I put down my glue, just so your glue can adhere really good to your um, skin. So the glue I'm using is the lace grip glue. Oh, can you guys see it? Okay, so the glue I'm gonna be using is the lace grip glue. It's used to talking in the background, y'all. My ratchet ass cousin's here. <laughs> so, sorry about that. So let me go ahead and just add the dots. And, like I said, I just want a light hold, nothing too crazy. I think I'm gonna use, um, like two layers of glue and just spread it back. I don't wanna to put too much glue down because then it'll be too much of a cleanup. I'd rather do like a little bit less glue and then go back and add glue if need be. But using too much glue is a no-no. And I really like this glue. I don't care if it touches like my hairline because it comes off really easy with alcohol. So this glue doesn't bother me. It doesn't cause any damage. I still got all my edges, okay? So what I'm gonna do is let this dry and then I'm gonna come back and go ahead and show you guys how I tack it down. Looks like we're ready to go ahead and place our wig down. And you wanna be careful with this careful careful okay and just let that baby lay on down uh oh okay you guys so i just laid down my lace and that was so fast and easy see what i said you guys super easy um and you could just go around and check your lace and see if you want to add any glue like i got some spots where i can add some glue but i'm probably just gonna leave it alone so the next thing i like to do is take my blow dryer to press out my part i really don't use like the hot comb method it works for some people but i don't like it so I wish I still had my clips, you guys, to show you um, how I did the baby hairs and everything. Like, it was a really good video, and my stupid my stupid final cut failed me again. I like to do my makeup, y'all, because I just, I look like a boom. So, now, again, you could stop right here. You could leave your baby hair like this, not really gelled. It still looks pretty good, but y'all know me. I'm gelling my baby hair. I got my gel. The gel I'm using is my Eco Styler gel, and I'm using my little eyebrow brush turnt gel brush because I love using this to do um, edges and baby hairs. And again, y'all, excuse my bags. I'm not going to look so bad once I do my makeup. me in your video you'll get a lot of views well you get a lot of views already as it is but yeah i'm so blurry oh look at that <laughs> camera perfect get out of here <laughs> so about camera perfect so i'm gonna leave this on while everything melts okay hopefully hopefully it don't be messed up but sometimes you take your your scarf off and your laces pop 
So we gonna leave this on and move right to the makeup because I'm tired of looking like this. So now that our hair is melting, we're gonna go ahead and start our makeup. And I already did my eyebrows. I think I'm gonna get my um, eyebrows microbladed, y'all. Comment below and let me know what y'all think about me getting them microbladed. Um, just to fill in like some of the sparse areas. I mean, right now, right now I just use like this little, um, the Stila Brow Marker to do my eyebrows and that's been working for years, but I think I'm ready to try something new. Um, the foundation we're using today is my Fenty Beauty and I have the shade 450. Now what I've been doing is, um, mixing, <laughs> y'all don't think this is so ghetto. But I've been mixing this foundation with uh, my Cover FX Custom Cover Drops. And this is in Deep 3. And I like to just do a drop of it because... Well, two drops. Because my Fenty Foundation in 450, as you guys can probably see, this one is a lot deeper than this one. And this just uh, warms up the color a little bit and makes it like my exact skin tone. So I really like those custom cover drops. They're great just to customize your um, foundation to get the perfect match. And today I'm going to my little cousin's little kickback. She just turned 21. I can't wait to go with my old ass, but I'm still going. <laughs> and, um, yeah, you guys, that's all I'm doing for today. Uh, let me just pull this back just a little. And I really love this foundation because you don't even need a lot of it. Like, you don't need a lot at all. I love that so much. And I love using this foundation in the summertime because it just... It lasts forever, like it never comes off of your face. Now we're gonna get into concealer. I'm using my Too Faced Born This Way in the shade Chestnut. And I really like this color. It really um, brightens up under my eye. It doesn't crease. I am gonna let this, you know, just like, oh, uh -oh. oh God, y'all dropped my foundation. I'm just gonna let this dry up a little bit and then I'm gonna blend it out. Okay, you guys. <laughs> okay, that's enough. So now I'm gonna go ahead and blend. And I know a lot of people blend out their under eye concealer with a sponge, but I like to use a brush. I feel like when I use a brush, I don't know, like it's almost like it doesn't crease as much. I used to use blue, beauty, beauty, blue. Oh my God, y'all can't talk. I used to use beauty blenders all the time. And them things be making yo stuff uh, uh, crease. So, I really love this concealer. You don't need a lot. It's the perfect shade. Ooh, I need this concealer, y'all. I was looking dead. I haven't been getting no sleep. And I was up all night editing my videos. I don't know what happened, but the thing just said, like, you know, missing file. And I went to my memory card nothing and i was just like where are my videos like what what is what's really going on like i was so upset and now i'm redoing and now i'm redoing this video and i'm kind of pissed because i don't have the clips of me making this wig for you guys and showing you how i got this color um it's just disappointing it's disappointing so I'm gonna go in with my pretty vulgar um, setting powder, and it's like a translucent color. I'm gonna use uh, two setting powders, okay? So I'm just gonna do a little bit. 
of this one, the translucent one. I don't like using a whole lot of setting powder anymore these days either. I'm falling out of a lot of the old habits I learned from YouTube because some stuff just be, it be too much. It be too much on an everyday basis. Like don't nobody got time to do all that type of makeup. So now I'm gonna use my Laura Mercier Translucent Medium Deep Powder. This is a hit. I like to put that directly on top of the translucent powder. And I really like this powder because it just, it blends so well into my skin. It doesn't give me, um, it gives me a brightened look, but not it's not too much, if that makes sense. It's just, it's very good for everyday wear. That's why I really love it. And it doesn't look, it doesn't make me look cakey. It's no flashback and anything with no flashback is my friend, okay? So now we're gonna go into my basic, basic eyeshadow that you guys just swear it's so, it looks so, like it's so many colors and it's really not. I use my little, um, I use my little Fenty um, eyeshadows for this look. So the color I'm gonna be using is Come and Get It. Come and Get It, Come and Get It. And that's this one right here. And I'm just gonna go into that with like a fluffy brush, like a fluffy crease brush. And y'all, literally, I just apply this thing all over, like, literally i don't do anything special <laughs> to my eyes like i don't even wear a lot of eyeshadow because i just think ugh, eyeshadow is just so irritating sometimes so and now i'm just gonna go back to that same color okay and put it in the crease this is all i do okay now I'm gonna go into the darker color called um, Affogato, this one right here. I'm using the same brush and I'm gonna apply Affogato like kind of into my actual crease. And now I'm gonna go back, to, back into Come and Get It to just make sure that I forgot all <laughs> these names. <laughs> Does it look too harsh? Cause I don't, y'all, I cannot do the harsh eyeshadow. Like, I guess I like wash of color on my eyes. I don't really care for a whole lot of eyeshadow, right? So now I'm gonna go into a different brush. I'm, I'm using a, um, a um, kind of like a more dense brush. And I'm gonna go into a light brown color. I hope I have that palette in here, okay. I'm gonna go into the color, it's called Take Cover, and it's this one right here. And that's just like a nice, neutral, light brown color. Like you guys, this is literally all I've been doing with my eyeshadow. Like, this is it. This is literally it. Like, it's literally nothing special at all. Now, this product right here is my baby. This is um the Diamond Bomb and Cognac Candy. And it looks like this. And it's just gorgy and just, oh, can you guys see it? There you go. Y'all, I love this so much. What I like to do is I take my finger and swirl it across the top. And then I just place, place it in the center of my lid just for some glow. Um, it's the perfect balance of some glow, but not too much. Cause I don't know y'all just like, I like very neutral, neutral eyes. I don't care for a lot going on. This is all you're gonna get from me. <laughs> all you're gonna get to make something more dramatic, I switch up my lashes, okay? 
So that's how I do that. Nookie Rookie. <laughs> I'm going to go in this color right here called Nookie Rookie. And I'm going to apply that in my tear duct area. Yeah, that's pretty. In the tear duct. Not too much. I don't want too much going on. And then I'm going to put a little under the brow. Okay. A little, not too much, you guys. Do not be super <laughs> heavy handed with this stuff. I'm telling you, just a nice wash of color, okay? So, underneath my eye, what color am I gonna use? I don't know. I think I'm gonna go back into the um, come and get it color. My eyes are so sensitive, like. Whenever I put on eyeshadow on the bottoms of my eyes, it just, it feels like my eyes are finna explode. <laughs> like, I don't know what that's about. So, I love this color. It gives it like a nice little, I don't know. And now I'm gonna go to, go back into Afago, a Afogtigo. A a what, I don't know the name, how to pronounce that. And I'm gonna put a little bit of that under there. That's just that darker brown color. And I just like a thin line of black liner. And my eye is about to water. You guys, I have the most sensitive eyes. I don't know what's wrong with me. I just want a thin line. So now I'm gonna go ahead and do my wing liner. I'm gonna try my best not to do it big and ghetto because I always do that on videos. Like it's like I mess up. Hey guys, that little wing is okay. Um, it's not my favorite. Like I said, every time I do my videos, my wing liner just never comes out right. Ever, 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 ever. I'm gonna take my fluffy brush and my Makeup Forever um, setting powder, matte velvet skin powder in the shade 530. It looks like this. And I'm just gonna brush away the residue from my eyeshadow. I'm gonna go ahead and set the rest of the face. For my eyebrows, I'm gonna use my Glossier um, Boy Brow. And this stuff just like literally transforms your brow. It just makes them look fuller and just perfect they don't move out of place i love this stuff we're getting to the fun part we're gonna go ahead and add some mascara and then lashes i'm gonna start i don't know what type of lashes i want to do should i go bold y'all should i do like a neutral type of lash i don't know what i want to do i think i want to do something a little bit more bold the lash glue i use is the sassy eyelash glue i don't use anything else like this works so good i had this bottle for such a long time like it, and it's lasted me like i think i've had it over a year bye kevin <laughs> Sorry, y'all. I can't, I can't talk while I'm doing this. This is serious. Now I'm going to take my matchstick in ebony. And I'm just going to put a, like a little bit, just the contour. 
you don't want to use too much of this because you can easily make um, your face look dirty. So just go ahead and blend that out. Now we're gonna take the color chocolate Liddy from, oh God, I just dropped it and cracked the whole thing. I have not been having good luck today, yesterday. I don't know what's going on, but this is Prime Beauty Chocolate Liddy Bronzer. I'm gonna have to order a new one. And I'm just using this to kind of like set the contour. Sometimes I just contour with this powder. I don't even use um, anything else. I just put it like around. Now I'm just gonna use my powder brush just to blend everything in. I hate harsh contour, it looks ugly. Now I'm gonna go into some highlight. I'm using my Laura Mercier highlighter in Seduction. And Seduction looks like this. This is like the perfect color for dark skin. Um, like if you just want a nice highlight that's not, you know, too in your face and looking crazy, definitely, um, pick up this highlighter. It just gives you like a natural sun click, sun, oh, sun kiss glow. Um, and that's why I love it. Then I'm gonna um, draw back on my mole. You kinda can't see it. Now I'm gonna take some um, mascara. So this is from Clinique. And I'm just gonna do um, a coat on my lower lashes. Probably two coats. And I love this mascara because it's the brush is the perfect size and it really extends and makes your lower lashes pop. See that? So now I'm about to apply my favorite lip gloss and this is Tantalize. And this is Bare Minerals Lip Gloss. Um, I don't know the name of the lip gloss, but this is the color Tantalize. It's like this perfect nude brownish color for my skin tone i just i love it y'all so much yeah i love this gloss and it's not sticky it's really buttery and just i love it so um let's reveal the hair So now I'm gonna just hit it with the flat iron again. But it came out really well. I hope you guys are able to see the color. It's really pretty. Okay, you guys, so you probably can kind of, you see, you can kind of see the color when I stand like in the light, but when I'm outside, like my hair looks legit blue. Okay, guys, so this is, um, the finished result of the hair. I really, really love this unit. This hair from D-Store Hair is super affordable and it is a good quality hair. When I buy like affordable hair or cheaper hair, I usually don't color it. I don't do anything to it. But this hair took to the color amazing. Um, I did have to bleach this hair and then I applied the blue jean color from Arctic Fox on top. And this is what I got. I'm so sorry, you guys. I don't have the clips showing you guys exactly how I did it. 
that got corrupted and deleted from my computer. I don't know what happened. But um, this is the hair. I've been wearing this hair now for about three weeks. And it is good quality hair. I do have some shedding, not many tangles. The only thing I feel like this hair does, it kind of like, it like clump together. It won't tangle, but it'll like get stuck together. And then you have to like occasionally brush it just so it can be like um, loose and flowy. But I really love this closure. It's almost like this thing was made for me. It just melts into my skin. It's so nice and flat, y'all. Like, this wig looks like a sew-in. You can't even tell it's like a wig. I love it so much. If you guys are interested in this hair, I will um, link it below. Okay? So, make sure you check the description bar. It'll be links and details. Everything you need to know about um, this d hair. And I did hand make this unit. That's pretty much all I have to say about the hair. I hope you guys enjoyed my little neutral makeup routine everything i use to do my hair color and also my makeup will be linked below thanks again for watching please don't forget to thumb me up comment below and subscribe and i will talk to you guys in the next one